guys shaky bones here uh, this is just a quick guide on how to set up and run your very own private online armor 3 games with you and your friends uh, this guide is for people who don't necessarily want to play on any of the public servers uh, and who don't need or don't want to rent expensive dedicated servers like those found on gameservers.com as they're more catered towards larger groups of people and larger clans uh, since GameSpy went down a few months back, uh, hosting your own private online game between you and your friends has become a little bit more difficult. Uh, and spending any amount of time on any of the forums or reading any YouTube comment, you'll actually just see how many people are having trouble. Uh, I myself spent quite a few hours trying to find a decent guide online, uh, and it was only through trial and error that I actually managed to figure it out. Uh, so I'm here to show you exactly step by step how you can manually host your own Armor 3 game. Uh, basically, the key is to correctly port forward all the correct armor and steam ports on your router. Once you correctly port forward everything, everything becomes much simpler. Now the armor 3 ports we're looking at port forwarding today are 2302 and 2303 and the steam ports, which are the ports most people forget about that we need to port forward, is 3478, 4379, 4380 and 27,000 to 27,050. Now I'll put these ports in the description so don't worry too much about it now. Now everybody's port forwarding experience or process is going to be a little bit different. Uh, so the easiest thing you can do is head to a website called portforward.com. Uh, now their website has a massive database of all kinds of port forwarding guides. Simply click on this link up here and then go through and find your specific router. Now they have a quite a few in their database. Now I'm running a Technicolor router that was given to me by Telstra, my ISP. And then on this page here, you will then be asked to select your specific model. Now, as it says here, um, if your specific model isn't highlighted here, don't worry too much as most manufacturers will have a very similar interface between their brands or between their models. Uh, so I'm going to select this one here, as it's pretty similar. Uh, then this page will load up and it will sh have a guide for your specific program that you want to port forward. Now they don't have a guide for Armour 3 specifically, but they do have a guide for Steam. And that is actually the more difficult one to port forward. So the page we're looking for is the Steam client page. And then it will load up specifically how you need to go about uh, port forwarding for your specific router. Now obviously yours is going to look a bit different but the key points is to go through and they will show you specifically how the ports should look on your router's interface uh, on, on what you need to port forward. So I'll show you here, so basically I went through this guide here myself and I'll show you here what the finished product looks like. Now most routers will have a game or sharing application tool or a port forwarding tool or something along the lines to help you port forward. So as you can see here, I've port forwarded the ports for Armour 3 and the Steam client. And as you can see, it's all the same ports that we needed to port from before, 34, 78, etc. Now the only port, the only protocol you do actually need to port forward are the UDP protocols. Uh, I did both just simply because it was just as easy. Um, but specifically, you only do need to do the UDP uh, protocol for your ports. Now, once you've gone through your guide uh, and uh, successfully updated and port forwarded the correct ports, what you're probably going to want to do is uh, check to see if the ports that you have port forwarded are uh, actually indeed open. Uh, so portforward.com actually have a really cool tool called a port forward checker or a port checker, uh, which looks like this. Uh, and you can download it free off their website. Uh, download our network utilities bundle there. So I've already done so. Uh, you don't need to pay for it, you can just use a trial for the basic features that we're looking at doing. And then simply click on port checker. It will then open up this page here. Now basically what we want to do is we want to select our Armour 3 port, 2302. UDP and then click check me. And as you can see there, the, our main Armour 3 port is open uh, and we can check some of our Steam ports. So we'll try 4379.
Now, if this program comes up and your ports aren't blocked, you just need to go back through your guide, go back through your router, and double check to make sure all the ports are correctly port forwarded. Uh, from here, um, it's just simply start an Armour 3 game uh, and host as normally as you would any other, any other game. Uh, if you have any questions, um, please post them in the comments. Uh, and uh, thanks, and good luck.